Hello, my name is Trent Smith. I'm a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service in Missoula, Montana, doing a high impact winter weather briefing for the storm that's about ready to hit uh, northwest Montana this weekend. So let's get started here. In the upper right corner is one model's depiction of the amount of precipitation that's going to be falling every six hours. And then the bottom left is uh, the model's depiction of uh, low level temperatures moving in. These two are really going to be very important on the interactions on what's going to occur up in northwest Montana. Um, again, this is starting at about 6 o'clock Sunday morning is the first image in the upper right. We are still looking at widespread precipitation. Kel spells already received over 14 inches. Uh, uh, Columbia Falls 13 inches. Uh, Big Fork 13 inches. So Northwest Montana has already received quite a bit of snow. They'll continue to see snow up until Sunday morning off and on. But things really start getting interesting come Sunday afternoon through Monday time frame where we'll actually have a pretty good stream of moisture starting to make its way up into Northwest Montana from Lookout Pass up through Kalispell up into Glacier Park. This moisture will continue to just steadily fall as we'll actually start getting an arctic air mass that's going to start intruding into the region. Come Sunday night, this arctic air will be spilling over into northwest Montana, really starting to enhance the precipitation over Glacier National Park. But there's a, a good fetch of moisture streaming up a Lookout Pass, uh, Thompson Falls region, and just good steady uh, precipitation across the region. That arctic air continues to filter, we just get steady precipitation and again the amounts that I'm showing up in the upper right are every six hours and at uh, noon on Monday this this one model's depiction is at least uh, almost three quarters of an inch of water falling in northwest Montana, a half an inch of water falling in Glacier National Park. Um, the, the snow ratios associated with this will be actually pretty pretty great so we'll be seeing snowfall rates of maybe two to four inches an hour so snow will be piling up immensely across northwest Montana and can't reiterate that this is potentially a huge storm I mean something that we haven't seen in decades uh, potentially occurring across northwest Montana the amount of snowfall that's going to occur up in that region Sunday uh, starting Sunday afternoon through Monday is going to be um, in the order of feet even down into the valley locations then come uh, Monday we Late Monday, Monday night, we'll actually have a Pacific cold front coming through, um, really pushing all that moisture out of the way. But we're really looking at that Sunday afternoon through um, Monday of just extreme snow falling across northwest Montana. So what kind of snowfalls are we looking at? Again, this is just one, our kind of best guess of snowfall rates on the left hand side is the snowfall totals that we're looking across the region um, Sunday through Sunday night again we're looking at just this 24 hour period of about a half a foot falling in the Flathead Valley uh, two feet falling up in Glacier Park six inches down in Thompson Falls nine inches over in the Libby area and then Monday through Monday night uh, the snow will just continue to go and again we're looking at an additional 10 inches in Kellispell, 20 inches at Marias Pass, uh, almost a foot up in Eureka. So when you combine these totals um, this is what we're actually depicting. This is the 48 hour total of snow um, for this whole event starting Sunday morning and ending uh, Tuesday morning. I mean this is just a phenomenal amount of snow. Kelspell alone is looking at about 24 to 30 inches of snow. Marias Pass 36 to 50 inches. Eureka 24 to 30. Um, travel is going to be extremely impacted. And then comes Sunday night into Monday morning as that Arctic air makes its way over the area. It's going to cause uh, gusty easterly winds. These easterly winds could cause localized blizzard conditions. We're going to get blowing and drifting snow around Columbia Falls up to Essex. Uh, again, this is a phenomenal event. We're talking about feet of snow um, going to occur across northwest Montana. I, I can't reiterate that this is a huge, 
huge system that's going to occur. So what are we looking at? We are going to talk about impossible travel. There's going to be times that snow plows are not going to be able to keep up with the amount of snow falling. And then we're going to add on blowing and drifting snow from Kalispell up to Marias Pass as that Arctic air comes in. Uh, just huge drifts. Uh, the amount of snow falling could add Upon already the high snow depths that we got, uh, we're looking at uh, potential roof damage, maybe even roof avalanches. And again, with that blowing snow, near, near zero visibility at times. Again, cannot reiterate how big of a system that this is, already, this is going to be. And again, this is two, potentially three additional feet of snow falling in the Kalispell area on top of the 14 inches they just received in the last 24 hours. So this is a huge deal. We're keeping a very close eye on it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 406-329-4840. Thank you.